Welcome to Mountsburg Conservation Area. We're standing in front of uh, our newest facility. This is a, a breeding facility for endangered eastern loggerhead shrikes. Uh, my name is Amy Fennell. I'm the Raptor Center lead here at Mountsburg. And uh, I wanted to introduce you to the eastern loggerhead shrike, uh, tell you a little bit about the bird and introduce you to our facility, which we're uh, quite happy with right now. Uh, so maybe you guys can come along with me as we go in and uh, meet some of the birds. This facility was uh, just recently completed. And the reason that we built this facility was to be able to house uh, eastern loggerhead shrikes over the winter and to be able to produce captive bred hatchlings. The wild population of eastern loggerhead shrikes is uh, actually very low. Uh, we currently only have um, 21 pairs in the wild in Ontario as of this year. So the recovery project, this is part of it, is to produce captive bred young and reintroduce them to the wild population. So behind this door, we have uh, 12 eastern loggerhead shrikes that in the spring will hopefully uh, be producing young to be released back into the wild. Um, each one of these pens houses a single loggerhead shrike. They have an indoor portion and an outdoor portion um, so that they're protected in the winter. In the winter, this area will stay above freezing so that the birds are comfortable. Uh, but in the summer, they're allowed indoors and outdoors um, at their, their discretion. Um, you can see, if you look through the pens, that each pen has um, a door that, uh, that can shut from the indoors or the outdoors and uh, the bird can fly freely in and out. Um, each pen here, as I said, houses a single shrike. They can't be housed together. They are very territorial birds, but each pen also outside has a door between them. So in the spring, when it's time for the breeding season to start, the door between the pens will be opened and the male and female can get together and start to uh, hopefully um, go into uh, some breeding behavior. Now, you'll notice that in the pens there are natural branches. Um, loggerhead shrikes have a really interesting feeding behavior that they share with other, uh, other shrikes as well, where um, they are predatory, so they hunt and kill other animals, small birds, reptiles, amphibians, rodents, and large insects. And because they don't have talons like a bird of prey does, they have to use something else. And what they do is they impale their food on natural thorns and sometimes even on barbed wire. Uh, so each pen has uh, hawthorn or buckthorn branches in it to provide them with natural impaling sites. This is a very quiet facility. Um, it's only open to staff um, for most of the time because the birds are very sensitive to noise and confusion. We want to give our shrikes the best opportunity we can to feel comfortable in their environment so that they'll be able to produce young, um, which is unfortunately why we can't have guests. But um, hopefully this will give you an opportunity to see the sort of areas that they live in. Um, the birds really got used to their pens very, very quickly, which we're quite happy about. It means that they're settling in nicely. So if you'd like to take a quick look inside a currently unoccupied pen, you can come along with me. Come right in here, past the branches, and you can take a look right outside. And imagine what it would be like if you were a shrike living here at our facility. Uh, staff check these birds twice a day, at least, to make sure that they are all bright and alert and healthy and responsive. So thank you for joining me on a tour of the Shrike Recovery Facility. Uh, we are looking very much forward to spring and certainly uh, you can contact us, keep an eye on our webpage and uh, on Facebook and maybe you'll hear more about the Shrike Project. So thank you very much and we'll see you at the park soon.